That's okay, boy. The nightmare is over. See, you still got a few fleas on you, though. Dead ones. Hello, everyone. We're back. The poor little bit here is a little traumatized because we did the bath thing earlier. And um, I'm going to put that section of the video after this one. Oh, I'm going to see if I can find the flea brush I bought for the cats. I have no idea where it's at. Anyway, so he may not be a 100% flea free, but enough to, to so he won't get sick or anything. I can put some drops. Oops. Sorry. Here, boy. Ow. I can put some um, those drops on him um, in a couple of days. It's about time anyway. I only use those once a month. Boy, he, when I um, went to his basket and uncovered him, oh, he was definitely already awake. And he gave me the most wounded expression. Like, don't you think you've done enough to me? <laughs> Poor baby. I wasn't able to wash his head, obviously. That, that would have been a step too far. But um, surprisingly... Despite all my, oops, apprehension and nervousness and just flat out fear. There you go, boy. Um, it actually went okay. Why is this thing fuzzy? Oh, well. So, we got them all bathed up. And he's looking, his fur looks so much better now. His side's all clean, and later tonight, I'm going to put a little bit of more salve on that spot. So. My beautiful little boy. See, yeah. It's okay, boy. What we're going to do is, since that's actually a workable project, because um, at the same time, while he was sulking in his basket, I uh, took the time to treat the carpet in there and vacuum it and mop the uh, tiles all around it and was able to go mop the floor in the bathroom as well, kind of disinfect everything. Hey, boy. Well, he's so beautiful. So, on the last video, I had put that little tag at the end. Um, I finally got around to weighing him again. And he weighs about six and a half pounds now. But a month ago, he only weighed five. Four and a half or five, something like that. I don't remember. I never I never wrote it down. So in that time, a lot of the possums on the porch that I've noticed in the past, in a month's time at about his age, they almost doubled their weight. Because they got close to their maximum size. So he's about as big as he's gonna get. And I mean he can still chunk up compared to what he looked like when I rescued him he is a chunky bit but hey boy we need, we need another one for the thumbnail there we go I'm gonna catch you licking your nose there we go oops I was trying to get a close-up of him not biting my fingers so but yeah like I said a moment ago when I went to get him out of his basket he just gave me a look up here like he was wounded. He's like, what did I do to you? Haven't you done enough to me? But despite that, he did not fuss when I picked him up and I brought him in here. He always gives one last little struggle when I bring him in here. Um, and I go to set him on my lap with the towel. Um... He's impatient because he does not like being picked up at all. So, let me see. The poor thing. He looks, oh, big yawn. He looks so sad. 
so I'm giving them an extra grape tonight. There we go, boy. But now his living area has been cleaned up. Um, I managed to treat it again with that pet safe stuff. And um, got a good mop on the, oh, you, it's gonna be the last one, huh, boy? <clears throat> managed to mop the floor with some uh, antibacterial stuff, also pet safe. Oh, you want this one too, boy? Or are you done? You done? Oh, you're done, huh? I'll, I'll eat, well, I was going to eat that one, but I dropped it on the floor. All right. Yep. Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> He's such a lovely little boy. I have to say, this has been one hell of an experience. Me learning him, him learning me. Okay, let me set the camera down, boy. I'm going to put you on the floor. Come on. I don't want you falling down. There we go. Uh, the phone slid off my lap and my elbow stopped the video. I am talented. I'm trying to get all these great pieces and go catch up with them. There we go. Even managed to... I didn't mop in here yet, but at least managed to clean... Oops, sorry, Salem. Didn't know you were making poop. And the funny thing is, we get to sit here for five minutes listening to Salem scratch at the wall because he doesn't know how to operate a litter box. Hold on a little bit. Let me get this out of your way. Oh, 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 oh. I know you want you want to crawl in your little corner right there. Salem, you're done. Please don't eat the litter again. No, 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 no. Come on, boy. I know. Let me disturb you so you go in a different direction. There you go. Oop. Gotta get this fabric sheet off the floor. <clears throat> when was it? Yesterday? Yeah, last night when I did that little video. Um, he did exactly what he's doing now. He laid down in that spot, so... I moved him for a second to give him a towel to lay on. And he just went to sleep. I was out in the other room. Uh, working on the video and then playing my video game and stuff. And he stayed there for about an hour or so. And eventually he just got up, went to his room. And that was it. Hey, little bit. I'm going to stop bugging you in just a moment, boy. Come see. It's okay, boy. It's okay. I know. You want me to leave you alone. Turns out he likes scratches, as long as I'm careful where I scratch. He has this sensitive spot back here on his back. That's where he was injured, which added to his leg problem. But, okay. We may have a little bit more before I post this, or I may save it and just put it all together in one super cut tomorrow. I don't know yet, so... I'll catch you next time. Hello, everyone. We're here at the aftermath of the little bit bath episode. Turns out I was justifiably scared, but for nothing. Um, I finally got him to calm down once I got some towels he could uh, hang on to while he's drying off. The... Um, it went far better than I thought it was going to. Believe it or not, through the whole process, all he wanted was out. He never once opened his mouth at me. He didn't try to claw me or anything. He was just trying to get out of the tub. And even then, he probably could have struggled harder. And we actually made it almost all the way through the process before he got so distressed that he actually pooped all over the place. Oh, look how sad he is. It's okay, boy. It's okay. We're going to do this process as little as possible, believe you me. 
but he needed it desperately. He had so much crap left in his fur that the water washed out red at first. And, um, he got dead fleas all over the tub. <clears throat> Most, of, a lot of them were dead before I ever started this because I'd put that stuff on them, but some of them weren't. And now they are. Okay. Let me go ahead and get him back on the floor. Oh, calm down, boy. Calm down. We got you. Okay. So he decided he wanted to go straight into his basket. And he's trying to burrow, but he needs some extra towels to do that. It's okay, boy. It's just me. Get your butt in there. There you go, boy. Get in. There you go. You'll figure it out, boy. Honestly, this whole process with most of the stress, there's a phrase I coined a while, a couple of years ago, talking to a friend of mine when we're talking about stress and mental wellness and stuff because well, life has thrown some at us. And it's called building monsters in your head. And we all do it. Sometimes at the worst possible moments. And that's exactly what I was doing with this. I was building it up into some big old monster in my head. And it turned out it was just a struggle to keep him from climbing out of the tub. Because amazingly, with all the practice he's got with climbing, apparently slick porcelain is not a problem for him. Hey, Salem. What you doing in here, huh? Okay. Well, that's it for this afternoon. Um, I'm going to let him burrow in and get comfortable. His fur looks better, though. And um, once he's had a chance to calm down, it's a quarter to four now, so probably around six o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and see if he feels up to doing the usual evening activities. Later. Mm -hmm.